Good morning, good morning to everyone by Air to Measured. Here is a beautiful Saturday and uh, we can use our time closed at home <laughs> in this COVID situation uh, in a good way to explain a little our uh, beautiful flat art. I believe that you have already understood that uh, uh, the flat art is linked to the situation in which we are living now because uh, we are living at the end of times and uh, uh, the earth uh, uh, as a globe is uh, uh, adoration, is worship to the sun while the flat earth is uh, uh, the, the reality. So we want to avoid uh, to worship the sun that will be uh, the religion of the new world order also. But uh, however, let's uh, speak about uh, the earth. We want to speak about the vortex ether uh, and uh, we want to understand why the science states that the universe is uh, always expanding. Uh, for example, we have the Hubble laws that says that uh, the, the radiation, in the light arriving from the stars is, is going to the red, uh, the red shift of uh, Hubble is uh, called because uh, that uh, is uh, proving the fact that uh, these uh, stars are uh, departing. Uh, the length of the wave, the wavelength is uh, uh, stretched and so uh, the light is appearing as red and they say that this is uh, an evidence of the fact that uh, the stars are departing from the Earth while if they would be approaching, uh, the light would, be, would uh, appear uh, going uh, in, uh, toward the uh, blue. But uh, this is not a proof that the Earth is, uh, uh, the cosmos is uh, expanding. Uh, we have seen, in fact, that gravity over the flat Earth is a vertical wind of ether, ether being the mean in which the light moves. So, since we have a, a motion of the ether, a vertical motion of the ether, an accelerated motion of the ether with an acceleration of 9.81 uh, meter per square second, um, this wind is stretching the light that arrives from the stars, and this uh, is the cause of the fact that we have uh, the radiation arriving from the stars going toward the red. So, we have not, absolutely not, an expanding universe. The expanding universe has been uh, talked because uh, uh, they had to prove uh, the evolution theory and so they wanted to prove the fact that we have a, a beginning of the universe that uh, starts from nothing, from a very small uh, beginning that with an explosion has created all the, all the, um, all the universe, but this is uh, not uh, provable. Okay, another thing uh, that I want to speak about is uh, uh, the fact that we have this vortex that uh, we said, I said in the last videos, that in the videos where I spoke about the vortex of ether, of ether that this is the motor pushing the sun, the moon, the planets. Okay, this vortex is generated by the rotor, the external, uh, the external part of the dome, the moving part of the dome in which the stars are nested in, and this moves and puts in rotation the ether that pushes the sun, the moon, and the planets. But why we do not feel this vortex of ether? The sun and the moon feel this vortex and we not, we do not. Uh, this vortex is uh, touching also the surface of the earth where we, do, we live. And so we should notice uh, this vortex, but uh, we do not. Why? Okay, we have spoken already of the fact that uh, this vortex has uh, this shape, this uh, spherical shape, uh, generated by the, the dome that has this uh, shape and so we have different layers that uh, moves with different speed for the conservation of uh, uh, angular moment uh, 
consider in fact that the, the tornadoes tornadoes moves slower uh, in the upper part where they are larger and uh, faster in the lower part near the earth where they are uh, narrow now at narrower so uh, this is due to the conservation of the uh, angular moment uh, for example if we have we are uh, on the skate and we have uh, um, our arms opened we will turn uh, around our axis slower but if we close our arms we will turn faster um, so it is uh, due to the energy conservation principle and uh, this is true also for this vortex of ether that will move faster over the, the surface of the earth slower uh, in altitude uh, with the height at the height of the sun and moon so uh, we can apply the Bernoulli principle that is again an expression of the um, conservation of energy principle and we will see that where the, this vortex moves slower density is higher where the speed is uh, higher uh, so the, the ether moves faster uh, on the surface of the earth where we live we have a, a lower density so we have lower energy uh, of pressure of the ether and this is the reason why we do not feel this uh, vortex of ether this horizontal movement of the ether that is uh, also moving with a constant circular speed the difference with uh, the vertical wind of ether is that this wind is uh, uh, accelerated and uh, we have an high energy due to, the, to an high speed uh, in constant acceleration with an acceleration of 9.81 meter per uh, square second this is the reason that we uh, there is the, uh, there exists this difference between the horizontal wind of ether and the vertical wind of ether Okay, I hope uh, that uh, it has been clear enough. If you have not understood, please write me in the comments. Please, if you have not done it yet, subscribe to, to my channel. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Eh? Uh, greetings and have a good weekend. Bye bye.